Welcome to the Doctrine and today we are talking and working on Polybrush. This uh, plugin for Unity is extremely cool and gives us a lot of possibilities to create uh, really nice looking scenes. One of the major options of the Polybrush is painting textures on the objects. Uh, how does it look? If we open Polybrush window, click this item and now we have ability to paint uh, directly on the surface with your custom texture like this of course we can decrease strange radius uh, for your drawing become more interesting yes. uh, of course if you want such ability you need custom shader uh, for mixing two materials because video card can't mix in materials anyway without shader. That's why we created custom shader that blend into PBR materials, common way. It's a very simple shader in fact. Uh, it's uh, have as input two albedo, bump map, second albedo and the second bump map. Also you can control glossiness, metallic and the second glossiness and the second metallic. Uh, to be supported shader with polybrush you need to declare Z texture channels, amount of textures you want to blend. I recommend you to blend two materials, not more, because uh, sending too much data into shader can cause a uh, huge performance lag. Uh, the second attribute is used for uh, data to be used for mixing two materials. And in this case, we used color, vertex color, to mixing two materials. That means that the more dense your grid will be, the more precision, detail it, you have ability to mix your materials. As you can see this background wall is quite dense with a lot of polygons and of course a lot of vertices so we can blend this texture smoothly. So if your mesh have really low poly you need to add extra vertices and the polygons to mix your materials well. Uh, then we just blend all this together with a parallax mapping and of course parallax is stored in the albedo alpha channel, so if you want to add parallax you need to add this height value into alpha channel of the texture. Of course for minimizing uh, minimizing data sending to your shader. Uh, this possibility gives us to control a smoothness, control metallic of each material you blend. For example if you select this barrel I can control smoothness of the dirt here to make it more drain or fat, like this. As you can see. It's very useful for metal surfaces, wet surfaces. You can do this way, these puddles of mood, uh, to be reflective, smooth. That looks very, very bad. But I am not recommend to use uh, this wave for terrain because terrain is a built unity system that very optimized and draw in uh, huge areas so if you want this functionality I'm not recommend to use polybrush on the ground it's better for objects not the ground um, because of performance issue uh, okay how does we implement this puddle of the mood it's uh, just two materials one dirt drain and the second wet uh, dirt with no normal map and uh, big smoothness to value like one. And that's how we can draw this puddle of the mood. For example, tools, polybrush, polybrush window, select and uh, draw in, for example, these wet things. You can see become more, more water look for the surface. Uh, next big thing about polybrush, if you plan to uh, blend your, uh, if you plan to bake your light mapping, you should do some special things. For example, if I duplicate this barrel, if I draw with polybrush on the this barrel, all covered by dirt. I have pro I will have problems with um, light mapping because uh, 
as we modify an vertex color, we need to store the data in the assets folder for make this uh, light mapping correct, make it useful in a different scenes. So that's why if you have painted some objects, you need to select this one and uh, go to polybrush, uh, bake vertex streams, uh, create new composite mesh. And the call it some way like barrel2, barrel2. Only after this uh, operation we have proper light mapping, proper uh, using in the different scenes because we have separate data for vertexes. As you can see, if I select the second barrel, I can see it right here. Um, that's it. That's all about if you want to know. Also, if you import some mesh, you need to select um, select and toggle generate light mapping. Because if you're not doing this, after everything you will lose if you click generate you need to repaint all your meshes and it will be very painful after all your scene is done also i recommend to uh, add uh, some small parts with decals not using blending materials because decals are quite fast and gives you really really nice results i mean uh, this polybrush blending materials is very good if uh, amount of blending and uh, main texture is uh, 50 50 percent it will be maximum effecti efficient uh, by using this. Also we can add some post-processing to our scene to make it looks really really nice like this. And the final result with the post-processing ambient occlusion is very very good there and uh, screen space reflection giving the reflection from the barrels in the center and points uh, on the wet, wet uh, moods. Thanks for watching, use this shader, download, buy, subscribe.